about a year ago, I had occasion to read a statistic that told how much of a chemical or a paint or pesticide could contaminate this much water. And I got to thinking about the concept of a thousand gallons. I didn't know what that was. And so I decided to collect a thousand gallon jugs and have a photograph of them so that we could use that as a tool at the aquarium for two different things. Number one, to help people to understand with an everyday item the volume of water in some of our exhibits. So now I'll be able to take this photograph, stand in front of Nickajack Lake and say, this is a thousand gallons. This is a thousand gallons. And in this exhibit, there are 138 of these thousand gallons and help people get a handle on that volume. But I can also say to people, this is a thousand gallons and it's drinking water and it's precious. There's not a lot of it on the planet. And all it takes to contaminate this much water and make it unsuitable for human use is this much of a pollutant. Petroleum, paint, some kind of a chemical, one teaspoon of it will render this much water unsafe to drink. How we treat our water matters in a lot of different places. 40% of the lower 48 states drains into the Gulf of Mexico and the entire state of Tennessee is part of that. So when we protect our drinking water here at home, it makes a difference for a lot of people, a lot of animals, all the way down the watershed to the Gulf of Mexico.